And I put a new uh, CDI distributor in this 1500, which I should probably help him guide it in. I'm going to do that. Tab off. The boat set up. There's no yeah. such thing as too much power. I'm with my man A. A. Ron. What's, up, What's going on, man? I didn't embarrass myself too bad back in the No, no, it actually looked great. It actually looked great. That's about what I do. So you said about, about what do you say, about two inches off the water? Uh, Floating? Yeah, something like that. About. Let's see. Uh, oh, you're good. Yeah, it's Gucci. Hey, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. A little bit on the trailer, so it was kind of holding it up. Holding so I it think up. it'll even go down a tiny bit. More. Okay, well, yeah, I think you're good. Beautiful motor, man. Yeah. Beautiful motor. We're gonna get it running for you. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is. You need a transom saver for sure, just to keep your transom from rocking. You just like look. I know, I know. You're just like crying on the inside, like oh no, this is gonna work yeah. out. No, yeah. I'm okay. Up to maybe All right. Mine. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get it right. So Sweet. stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is disconnect all the power. My man, AA Ron, we're going to disconnect the battery. It looks like a size 13. Before we get into the actual uh, replacement and alignment of the distributor, that way we can get everything timed properly. Power is disassembled. We're going to start removing the shrouds. We got a size 11 here, and then we have uh, 11 metrics going all the way around here on the back. And we're going to pull this off and then pull the choke solenoid off. And that should give us exposure to the distributor right here, which has a bad trigger. Unfortunately, even though it looks good, it talks to talk, but it does not walk to walk. All right, so now that uh, AA Ron and I have the top cowling off, uh, this one does not have the 11 inch, uh, 11 metric on the bottom. So we're going to have to move the cowling on the top, and that's going to be an 8 metric. Be very careful. That's the smallest screw on this engine. Is it's uh, you definitely don't want to snap it in there. That's a whole nother pro a whole another problem that you just don't want to deal with. Okay, so now we're gonna remove that, remove the pulley cap, and remove the pulley, and then we're gonna have access to the bolts here to drop the distributor here. All right, so we're back. Okay, so we got the the top here. The pulley is up, but we're gonna have to pull the flywheel to access this, so we can unscrew this and drop this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull this flywheel off. Next. All right, so I got a flywheel puller and a torque wrench, but I'm not trying to untorque 100 uh, foot-pounds of space, so I'm gonna break out this bad boy, and we're gonna take that flywheel nut off. So the flywheel nut came off pretty easily with the impact wrench. So now I'm gonna put the uh, puller in place to gently lift the flywheel. Now, I don't want to disturb, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to have to or not. See this timing belt? Um, it's a little bit of a pain to get back onto the track inside underneath here. So I'm going to try not to disturb this belt and or this, this, uh, this uh, top dead center mark. So I'm going to screw this in and then I'm going to gently lift the flywheel just so I can, just enough space so I can pull this pulley up. See how it's hitting the flywheel right there? So I just need to pull that up just so I can reach the bolts here and drop it. All right, so we got this loose. Uh, I cheated and used an impact wrench to loosen this, so that's loose. And also realize that the bolt here is under here, so we're going to have to completely remove this and then cycle the belt back on here without destroying it. So now I'm going to have to remove the timing, remove this. I'm going to loosen all these bolts here. That way, once we get the flywheel off, we can loosen the three bolts here, one in the back, and drop the distributor efficiently. All right, so we're back. Uh, everything's removed. The belt is here. I didn't. I did not want to disturb it. It's, it's a little bit of work trying to get this to, to bicycle on. So, but I can pull this off. Now I have access to all these bolts here. So we got to drop these three bolts. That's going to drop the distributor. Okay. So what we're going to do? I'm going to take the cap off uh, of this. Disconnect all the wires here. 
and then disconnect the throttle linkage here and take the face face, face plate off this is your size 11 metric and then th that should successfully drop the distributor ain't that right AA Ron? I think so yep all right so I'm grabbing the new CDI trigger uh, distributor right here and we're getting ready to install it okay so what we got here um, we have everything disconnected we have the distributor cap pulled uh, everything looks good even that charcoal thing in the middle uh, all the wires are disconnected here okay and this is disconnected here so all I have to do is take a 13 metric one two three and this is gonna pop down and then I gotta disconnect the ground here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna pop everything back in and guess what match is gonna happen back and got everything disconnected okay so we're gonna put everything uh, back together I gotta unfortunately try to get this uh, little pulley here lined up with the flywheel but it's okay we're gonna pop up the new to the new CDI uh, trigger right here brand new so we know it's gonna spark and then we're gonna uh, make it talk so we're gonna put everything back together and we're gonna see what happens ain't that right a Ron? yep I agree we got the new distributor up there this does not have the threaded the threaded distributor so what we're gonna have to do is put size 11 metric here here and then of course on the back to get this to go up properly all right so now we got the new distributor in there and we have size 13 nuts here everything is locked tight okay so now we're going to reinstall the uh, distributor cap and uh, put the uh, new cdi wires onto the switch box and then of course attach the throttle arm and then uh have fun putting this uh, flywheel back on it won't <laughs> be that bad all right so we got the new distributor uh, installed everything is there it's grounded um, we got the uh, cap on it looks good okay so everything's functionality now we just got to get this flywheel back on and uh get this back on and do the alignment which i'm going to go over very thoroughly to just make sure everything's aligned properly for timing purposes and then we're gonna make it tough maybe we'll see what happens all right so now we got everything you gotta get up here now we got the uh everything on track here um, if you look at the keyholes, make sure that you line up the flywheel key, which is right here. Probably can't see it, but you want to make sure your flywheel is completely aligned before you torque it down, or you're going to mess up your timing. So I'm going to hand the camera over to AA Rob. Okay, so now, what we're going to do is align the dot, the arrow, Coming through the arrow. Dot, arrow, and the crankshaft all in the same place. Now, as you can see, the arrow is just a little bit off. So, what we're going to do is pop the uh, pop this very gently. We're going to move this one tooth over and align it. So now you have the nipple, the center of that, the arrow, the dot, and the crankshaft. All aligned so that's how you know the distributor is synced with the engine so now all we got to do is put the cap on and all right so now we have everything back together as you can see we got the cowlings here choke solenoid is definitely uh, hooked up uh, we got the new brand new CDI switch box I'm sorry brand new trigger right here hooked up to the switch box everything's gonna connect it correctly we grounded the uh, new CDI trigger and this is a kill switch for the controls Yep. It yep. Okay, so now we are going to make a talk and see what happens after I link and sync this distributor with the carburetors. Moment of truth, AA Ron's connecting the battery terminals back up. Looks like everything is connected properly. Yeah, these definitely need to be addressed, but we'll get to that after we get to this. All right, so we got the water on. We're gonna see what happens. There wants to. Yeah. All right, so it wouldn't start. So what I did was take the arrow and aligned it slightly to the right, half a tooth off. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm on the Aeron, and we uh, installed the new uh, trigger. 
we're going to do a couple hiccups just like that that's, what, that's exactly what it sounded like so we're going to start it and uh, we're going to see what happens Oh, no, 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 no. We want to hear you.